I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview report for you Pisces for the week of August the 24th. Wow, what a week this is. There's some great stuff coming up and really is going to have a direct effect on you. So, and all good stuff, mostly. So I hope so. Um, all right, so let's start right at the start of the week is the major transit on the 26th, which is uh, right opposite you in your area of love and relationships and um, we've got the Sun in this area now and a Jupiter moved in earlier this month is going to stay there for a period of one year okay and right this week the Sun and Jupiter are conjunct so it's the Sun moves through past uh, Jupiter so it's um, it very it's like a spark of energy coming off here so this is all to do with relationships I mean it can be business relationships too but traditionally I like to think of it to me it's it's uh, really intimate relationships and we've got the full moon in your sign at the end of the week so this is a very significant time um, when we look at what's going on because also uh, um, I'm trying not to jump ahead of myself here but with this connection opportunities can come through okay so uh, openings or you know a lucky break you can meet someone if you're in a relationship then you can really take it to the next level with the full moon in your sign at the end of the week it's like you might even uh, decide to part company so it opens you up to sort of meet someone that's more suitable or the full moon can really just give it that intensity that you need just to break through anything that's blocking or stopping you from attracting the love that you so much desire to have in your life okay now um, Mercury is in this area as well, communication planet, and at the same time, Mercury has a favorable aspect with Saturn. Now, this is in Saturn sits in your at the moment sits in your solar ninth house, so you could be uh, traveling, uh, communicating with someone from afar, uh, particularly, you know like cross-country or foreign markets um, could also be communicating with people of different cultures okay or languages as well so there seems to be like this movement around your relationships this week it's sort of like with the Sun and and um, Jupiter coming together it's almost like and then topped up with um, the full moon, it's like the intensity of that, it's like something can happen that you just simply can't ignore any longer, okay? If you've been guarding your heart for a while, this is the time where that can all come to an end. And although it can make you feel vulnerable to let down your guard, uh, because you really need to trust that someone's going to be kind with your heart before you do that. Uh, it can all work out for you, Pisces. Okay, so nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Now, Venus is in um, your and Mars in your solar sixth house. Okay, now Venus is still retrograde. Now, this area is very much to do with your day to day work. Um, the work that you're doing and how you're organizing your work and how productive you are it's also an area for you to look after yourself and just to look after your personal image and your uh, overall health and well-being now Venus is still retrograde so you want to be careful you don't fall back into old habits okay and people from the past can you know re-enter your life around this time as well um, and the last thing I want to mention for this week is that Mercury is on the move. It is going to move into your solar eighth house um, towards the end of the week. So if you've been waiting on news to come through of, of uh, support, particularly in a financial way, then 
discussions can go ahead this week for that too. Okay, so it's a very progressive week. Lots of exciting things are happening. Lots of opportunities coming through, both on a personal and business level. So uh, I hope it does for you. Good luck with that. I hope if something fabulous you know, comes through. Now I am uh, going to ask a favor of you. I am at the moment trying to um, increase my subscribers and uh, I wondered if you mind if you've been watching me for a while or you're new to my channel and like my videos, if you'd mind helping me with that and putting it out to the social networks and just pressing those um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, whatever buttons, okay? All right, love and luck to you. Have a great week. See you next week.